We've got another Mercer Sphere. Let's see what it says first. This bleeding temple hums a resonance song. Play for us. I don't know what the hell they just said. What? The effigy has no song, only echoes, but it is part of a river. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention. Your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. <laughs> oh. Time spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance <laughs> budget. It wasn't my fault, Ada! What the hell? Welcome back, everybody, to Satisfactory. I'm the Bearded OG, and in this episode, we're picking up right where we left off. Uh, so we're going to get started with uh, setting down some big miners. And uh, so I spent a little bit of time off camera, not too much, um, just making another batch of cables, wire, plates, and iron plates. And um, we need portable miners, as you can see on the right-hand side, but those are already out at the uh, nodes. So... Uh, what we're going to do is we're going to start running some belts here. I'm not super worried about neatness at this point. Uh, like we talked about in the first episode, this is all just temporary. And so we're going to just kind of run the belts wherever. So we can get started with some automation here. Um, I did have to log out of the game and get the first video edited and stuff too. And I did discover a bug which I reported um, if you try and here actually let's leave that alone for a minute if you try and take if you go into photo mode and you press the right mouse button to toggle high res and then try and take a photo it crashes the game I'm not gonna actually do that right now of course um, but it happened you know twice in a row so hopefully that's something they'll get fixed soon Let's go here. We're going to grab ourselves a, a miner and we're going to set this right down here. And this is a Mark 1 miner on a normal node, so that means it's going to produce 60 ore per minute. Okay, let's bring this belt around to here. And, oh, what did I do? I don't know. I started it somewhere else. Okay, we'll put that there. Uh, we need to get some power back here, too, so let's actually do that next. I think what we'll do is we'll... Oh, let's see. We're going back that way. Yeah, let's let's use this power pull here. Oh, we're going to have to set an, another one down because that one's already maxed out. So let's just... Do that and then we'll run off of this pole right here looks like that's the limit we'll just keep going straight back because we're gonna need one for the copper and the limestone as well Let's let's go back further for the limestone. Where is that end at there? Okay. Let's set that right there. Rude. We'll pick up this one. And we'll set down our second copper miner and we'll uh, face it towards the east. Um, can I pull this back to here? Yes. Okay, so we'll get that started 
We'll get the belt run on that later. The iron's more important at the moment. Got to get that iron going. And we got a spider. All of the mobs that we killed earlier have re respawned, which is good for us because, um, you know, more parts for us to turn into protein later and ultimately DNA for the sink. All right, if we... Guess we'll grab that pole. Will that reach? Yes, it will. Okay. Good. So that'll get uh, iron coming here. Like I said, we'll come back later and do the copper and the limestone, but I want to get the iron going because we're going to need a lot of um, plates and rods and all that kind of stuff early on here. And once we get splitters, you know, then we can split this up because this only takes 30 per minute. We're sending 60 per minute. So we will split this um, and put it in another smelter later. In fact, I think we're going to set the second smelter down now just because um, that way I can still hand feed it as well. We do need to be mindful of our power, though. All right. Looks like we're okay for the moment. And we might as well load up this, too. Excellent. All right, now what we're going to do is we're going to come over here, and we're going to want to make uh, a total of four constructors. I don't know if we're going to have power for this yet. We'll see. Oh, right. We just got our second biomass burner, actually. So, yeah, we'll probably be okay for a little a little while. We need to make eight reinforced plates. So, um, let me get that done first. All right. Let's go ahead and place a constructor here. And this is going to be our plate constructor. Let me see the positioning here. Yeah, that's fine. And then let's bring this to about here. Now there, there's the, we have this new mode, the straight mode that does the angles for us, which is really cool, except for that, that angle is a little too sharp. That's gonna be so useful. Um, oh, yeah. Oh, that is just amazing, you guys. <laughs> that is so cool. All right, cool. Plug this in, and we'll set you to making iron plates. Um, and let's even preload you with a couple of ingots there. We want to collect those plates in a storage. Uh, so we'll go to organization, and we'll just line that up to there. And did I? Okay, so so I can't be in straight mode. Oh, I guess not. Okay, interesting. So when it's close like that, you can't you can't have it in that straight mode. All right, fair enough. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna set down another constructor um, I'm thinking about this for a second yeah let's just set this one down there, where was that alignment line we'll put it right there for now And run you into here, and you will start making rods for us. And let's see, we need more power 
for that. I want to try and keep this somewhat neat. Set the storage can. Oh, we need some more rods. Um, I'll have to wait for this to make make rods. Need one more. There we go. If you're new to the game, um, I'm the re the way I got that to line up is I just held the control key down. Back. Let's um. Let's also move it a little closer too. Okay, we're gonna need some more rods so we can run this belt into here. Uh, oh, I got this bass backwards. We'll flip it this way. All right. They got this new um, flow indicator too. That little line that you see moving there. That's new. Super useful. Now what the hell's the matter? Try this again. Hold it out maybe a little bit further. I don't know why it's jumping around like that. Oh, you know what? It's not lining up on that. Weird. Okay, let's just do it this way then. Could be because I had it. Oh yeah, I had it tilted. That's why it wasn't. It wasn't straight on. There we go. Okay. Now we're just gonna steal ore from this for now to keep this one loaded until we could, you know, get a splitter set up, which we won't actually be able to do until we get out of um, onboarding and, and start actually doing the milestones. So we'll still have to just kind of man, you know, manually manage some of that. Okay, good. So we've got plates automated and we have iron rods mostly automated. I'm going to need um, more iron rods to run the next conveyor belt from the copper over. We'll see if this is going to be enough. I'm not sure if it will be or not. And also, I've got some ore to put in here, too. Okay, so let's connect this belt into here and start running it back towards the copper node, which is going to be back this way. Oh, you know what? I don't have a lot of plates either. Okay, so I'm going to cut the camera here and just kind of build up some plates and rods, and then I'll bring you back when we're ready to run this belt. All right, guys, um, I'm still waiting for a few more rods and plates to build up, but let's go ahead and get our constructor going for our copper. And we're going to need two of these as well. So we're going to put, uh, let's just line this one up directly with that for now. And we want to set you to making wire. And we'll do the same thing here where we'll have another one next to this one. And we'll just manually... Uh, I'm going to need a power cable over... Or power pole over here. So let's run that one there. And then put this here. Oops. I'll push that back into the thing there. Good. Hook that up. That uh, that just ran out of ore. Right. Okay. We'll set that to make copper. This will be our cable maker. Oh, you know what? We're going to need two of those now that I think about it. Well, let's set that, get that set up for the moment. How's our power? 
Okay, we're actually over. We're potentially going to draw more power than we can handle. So uh, we're definitely going to hold off on that. And I might even might even just turn that one off for the moment too. Because we need to get uh, we need to get our concrete uh, limestone miner set up and going. Okay, so that dropped us back down there. The next hub upgrade or two we'll be able to set down a an actual um by yeah that, it is the next one actually it's the biomass burner okay so let's select that milestone and that will allow us to make biomass too but i'm not i'm not going to actually start loading that until we get our concrete automated uh, we need to get that going too because we're going to need a lot of it in fact let's do that next um, so I'll, we'll see how much, you know, how much material we have to get the belt back there. This is our longest, longest run. Uh, where are we, by the way? Concrete is actually that direction. Okay. Don't know if we're going to have enough to get all the way back there, but we'll see. Keep those high so we can get under them easily as needed. We're going to go right around that corner there. We're out of, out of material. Well, we got a little ways. We got new friends here. Pick that up. Set down this miner. That might blow our grid. Let's go see what it's doing. Yeah, that put us above. But that's it. Oh, yep, there it goes. <laughs> there it goes. Actually, we may have... We might have... Well, yeah, I, we just blew the grid. Okay. So, what we're going to do then is we're going to actually... We're going to disconnect that miner. And... So can I restart this now? Hmm. Okay, let's disconnect that one too. I mean, I don't think about a fuel yet. Let's go see what's going on. Oh, I should be picking stuff up along the way. Yeah, we ran out of out of leaves. They burn so fast is the problem. But we're going to fix that when we start making biomass in the next after the next up, update here, upgrade. We'll grab another batch of plates and rods, and that way we can finish our our conveyor belt to the uh, concrete miner. And you know, I'm in, in pretty good shape at the moment for cables and uh, and wire, so I think we'll leave the copper miner disconnected for the moment and get the but we'll get the limestone one going. Plus, I have some extra copper ingots that I can make more of that stuff if I need to until we get it back online. I'm going to 
aggro the high uh, the swarm swarmer whatever the hell that thing's called <laughs> They still chasing me? Well, I got two out of three. Okay, so let's bring this back. We can bring it through there. then down, let's say, to here, and then into there. There we go. All right, we got limestone automated. All of these are normal nodes and Mark 1 miners, so everything is 60 product per second. And we're, we're okay right there. So, yeah, we'll just leave the copper miner offline for the moment. Until we get could get another biomass burner going. Let's grab this slug here. I think there's a critter guarding that, but it must have been down the river a little ways or something. Let's rob the ore from here to put in here. So we're semi-automated at this point. Not fully automated, just semi-automated. And the next thing, of course, we want to do is get that next hub upgrade going so that we can get the extra biomass burner and the other goodies. hang on to all that. Actually, we don't need this miner at the moment. We're going to need it later, so we'll hang on to it. Okay, so um, 50 concrete, 100 wire, 100 plates, and 100 rods. That's what we need to do. Uh, we got the wire, and we got the concrete, and we have the plates, and we have the rods. Look at this. We are rocking and rolling, baby. Hub upgrade six. Landing platform hydraulics completed. Freighter landing initialized. Congratulations, you have completed onboarding and achieved the absolute minimum skill level required of a Fixit pioneer. Fixit looks forward to your future achievements because a future with Fixit is a future with you. <laughs> Tier one and two milestones are now available in the hub, and biomass burners can now be built individually. Beautiful. Your first official objective is to initiate project assembly by building the space elevator. This objective will take a significant amount of resources, so Fixit recommends getting to work. Get to work. All right, awesome. So we have finished onboarding, ladies and gentlemen. That is a beautiful thing. And the very first thing we need to do is make ourselves. Um, some biomass burners. We'll just start with one and we'll just keep building more as, as we need to, you know, as we go along. So we're going to, I'm going to just kind of keep all of those over here. Oh, that's right. We can feed stuff into these guys now. I forgot about that. Oh, that's cool. Okay. Um, so it, that being the case, I need to, I need to give this a little bit of thought in terms of how it's going to get set up. Um, what I think we'll do then is maybe we'll do um, a biomass production in this area here. And we'll line up the biomass burners maybe along the entrance to this cave. Uh... Yeah, there's some stuff in that cave we need to go get, but I don't, I don't want to do that right this second. Okay, well, for now, um, we're still going to have to feed it manually. Uh, because, yeah, all of these openings are going to have to face this direction. Okay. Okay. 
let's put that one there. And now what we're going to do is we're going to take all of our leaves that we've been storing up and we're going to turn those into biomass. And in doing so, we're going to get a lot more efficient burn time. All right. So let's go ahead and load you up. And we're going to need a new pole for you. Hook you up to the grid. We're going to pull this wood out of here and replace it with biomass. And uh, you'll notice that leaves have a burn rate of 80 per minute. Wood is 12 per minute. And biomass is 6.67 per minute. So this is definitely um, the best stuff uh, to use. Well, it's not the best. The solid bio biofuel, uh, which we'll get in one of our upcoming milestones, is actually, the, the, I think, the best. Uh, well, at least it's the best in the early game. All right, cool. So we have just added um, quite a bit more power to our grid, so we have some room now. And we'll just keep an eye on that and keep adding more of these as as we go along. Um, since since we're only going to be using biomass power for a very short period of time, I, I, don't, need, I don't even know if I'll, you know, bother trying to automate this. We'll see. We'll see because we're, you know, we're, we're trying to fast track to coal as soon as possible. We have, you know, permanent power production. Okay, let's get back on track here. Uh, actually, we need to look at our first milestone, which I think we're probably going to want to do logistics first. Uh, all right, so let's go tier one, and that's going to get us foundations, logistics. Yeah, let's go with the logistics first. And uh, we're gonna, so we're going to need all of that stuff. I'm going to put the extra biomass in here for now. Oh, I want to make additional biomass with the stuff we pulled back out of the generators. Very good. Okay, and we'll put all this in here. Uh, we're going to need to... Can we make... Um, no, we need to get to the thingy that lets us make uh, more of these storage things because we're kind of starting to run out of space there. All right, so let's see what we have made so far uh, for both wire. Okay, we have 40 wire, and we can now hook you back up to power, too, by the way. We got 117 rods, and we have 158 plates. Before we do this milestone, I want to get the rest of our automation, uh, at least the first part of our automation, going. Let's rob from Peter to pay Paul. This is Peter. This is Paul, in case that wasn't clear. All right. So, let's see. We need to get a conveyor belt from the copper miner. And we need to turn the power on for that since we have have power now. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. Let's get this powered up. We'll grab that ore out of there. And get the belt run. Excellent. Okay, so we got that one hooked up. We'll split up our ore here. Now we want to run you into, uh, oh, I got that turned the wrong way around. Uh, 
Um, what happens if we go straight mode? Oh man, that is just beautiful. <laughs> the best thing ever. Okay, this needs to make wire so that we can then turn it into a uh, cable. And we also need uh, some storage bins, but let's uh, let's get the other constructor going first. Uh, so we're going to need two reinforced plate. Let's turn this wood into biomass and the leaves. So that gives us everything we need to make a second constructor for cable. And we want to change this back to normal mode. And set this to cable. Okay. So these aren't uh, set up efficiently, but that's okay. We're not too worried about that at this point. It is what it is. Let's put you here. Still okay on power for the moment. All right. Um, we want to get a couple storage bins down for these guys, and then our copper is set up for now. Beautiful. Okay, we've automated wire and cable. We have rods automated and we have plates automated. The last thing we need to automate for the moment is screws. Um, but I think what I would like to do first before we do that is get um, get our logistics, um, our splitters and that sort of thing. So. Let's grab whatever we have accumulated so far. And we'll rob Peter to pay Paul again. As soon as we get splitters, then we won't have to keep keep doing that. Okay, why are you stalled out? Oh, because I didn't unpause you, that's why. I'm going to also put um, my, well, yeah, that's fine. We'll just put those in there. Extra ingots in the constructors. Do I have any iron ingots on me? I do not. Okay. Oh, we need to get a storage bin for our concrete, too. Uh, I guess I have that thing set crooked, but you know what? I don't care. For now, it doesn't matter. Trust me, man. When we start building factories, they're going to be nice and neat. I promise. It's just that it, it's not... It doesn't make a whole lot of sense to try and make things really nice and neat at this stage. I could, but I'm not going to. Because we just don't need to. All right, let's grab that concrete out of there. Let's work on getting logistics. So we'll load up whatever we currently have. Um, all right, so we have enough of those. We almost have enough of those, and we have uh, don't quite have enough of those uh, of that wire. So we have 44 wire so far. All right. Let's top off our biomass. And then I think what we'll do while we're waiting is let's go do our first little exploration. We're not going to go too far away from the base. 
But we'll go out and uh, see what we can do. I might, um, I might go ahead and go to our first hard drive because not only will we get the hard drive, but probably at this point, more importantly, we'll get all of the materials at the hard drive, which are going to really come in handy for us. Right. So, um, yeah, let's do that. Keep in mind that I don't have foundations yet, so I can't, like, you know, ramp up to anything, but that'll be the next thing we'll get after logistics. But this first drive, I believe we can get to just from doing a little bit of parkour. Uh, there is a slug up there, too. Let's grab that. We'll be doing a little bit of overclocking early on when the time comes. Okay, so we're heading over there. We've got another Mercer Sphere. Let's see what it says first. This bleeding temple hums a resonance song. Play for us. I don't <laughs> know what the hell they just said. What? The effigy has no song, only echoes, but it is part of a river. Why does the effigy avoid the windows? Attention, your brain's operations are outside typical parameters. <laughs> oh, Time shit. spent daydreaming will be deducted from your sustenance budget. <laughs> it wasn't my fault, Ada. What the hell? <laughs> that's hilarious. Oh, good, I love it. Uh, that's a sloop. Oh, shit. That's a sloop we can't get to until um, we have ramps. Okay. Let's get away from this bad bad. I think if I remember... Well, uh, this is all assuming, again, they haven't changed anything. But I believe this guy is going to require some power to open. But again, I'm not really worried about the hard drive at the moment. Oh, that ooh, that's new. Oh, this is new stuff. This isn't what isn't what used to be here. All of that's going to come in handy. There's no doubt about that. We've got a rotor. Oh, 59 rotors. Damn, son. Merry Christmas to me. Um, let's see if this has changed. Oh, it needs steel beam now, so they have changed these. How interesting. It almost makes me think that they're making hard drives a little more um, difficult to get in the early game. Because, you know, that's uh, that's steel stuff, which we're not going to be able to get to until we get to uh, Milestone 3. Oh, shit, this is going to hurt. Ow! Um, milestone 3. All right, well, that is useful stuff to be sure. But I was kind of hoping for, you know, some more basic stuff at the moment. So that rock outcropping over there, um, that's the other hard drive that's close by. Let's just run over there and see what it has for materials. And it, in early access, that one was free. Now, you could just open it straight up. You didn't need anything for it. But I wonder if they've changed that. We will find out. Let's kill these guys. Looks like we have some quartz up here. We're going to need that for our Blade Runners, among other things. Nope. Um, yeah, let's grab this iron ore. Why not? That's a normal node. 
I'm going to leave the limestone. And we got um, a blue slug down by some fart rocks, which we're not going to worry about for now. Okay, so we have two hogs here. Usually this, the stuff for this... Oh, oh, that's where that big guy is. All right, um... Usually, well, in early access, the loot was all strewn about down here, but I don't see it. Ow! Okay, let's get up here. Okay, we got to be careful on this jump. It's more rotors. I mean, that is not a bad thing. Don't get me wrong. Ooh, modular frames. There's some plates. This needs rods, which we have. So let's let's go ahead and open it, and we get our first drive. Damaged hard drive successfully acquired. All pioneers are contractually obliged to preserve and secure any recovered hard drives for future analysis, which may result in benefits to the Fixit mission. Speculation as to why there are crashed freighters in your Fixit designated zone is discouraged as specified in your contract. <laughs> That's funny. Um, <laughs> okay, so don't worry about why these freighters crash. Just get the loot from them or the corporation, right? Okay, hey, we, we pulled in 37 reinforced plate. That's huge. Um, the modular frames and the rotors, all that's going to be really, really useful um, as we proceed. Looks like they changed the look of the hard drive a little bit too. Uh, but we're going to need the man before we can do anything with that. We might... We might actually do the the next milestone, uh, which I think's field research for the man, only because there's a, a a possibility that we could get. I'm just looking around to see if there's any more loot skis. Now we've already been through here. If we could get the die screws, uh, assuming that recipe still exists, that would be huge because then it eliminates the step of having to first make uh, rods. You know. Okay, let's head on back, and we'll see. Uh, we should have, well, hopefully we'll have enough stuff to, to do the logistics milestone. All right, we have another Mercer Spear in here and what looks like maybe Bauxite. Consume. Consume, it says. Okay. If you guys didn't already know this, these Mercer spheres are going to allow us to make sort of kind of the equivalent of a um, uh, Minecraft Ender chest later on. More like uh, being able to store materials in the cloud and access it anywhere on the map for you know building new factories and stuff. Super useful. Okay, yeah, we're going to leave that box right there. That's not something we need at all for a very long time. But, oh, they changed the look of the bacon mushrooms. Okay, we're going to... Potential edible collected. Reminder that look and smell alone do not provide sufficient data to determine exact risk of consumption. <laughs> Just because it looks like you can eat it does not mean it won't eat you. <laughs> Store this potential resource for later use. Uh, I just love the snarky new Ada. Totally love it. All right. 
That was our first expedition. Let's put all of our iron ore in here that we got. And we'll also grab some more out of there too. We'll put our copper ore in here. And let's see how many wire we have. Okay, we have enough. Whoops. Beautiful. Beautiful. Let's grab this. And we'll grab this. All right. We got enough plates. We got enough wire. Let's get some logistics going here. Milestone reached. Conveyor belts can now merge, split, and lift to save space and enhance the productivity of your factory. Fixit encourages you to consider investing in verticality when it comes to factory logistics. If you feel stressed by this complexity, imagine yourself on the shore of a vast and calm ocean. Breathe in. Visualize all the people relying on you. The sea is made of billions of faces, each staring at you with hope and tears in their eyes. <laughs> Breathe out. Feel refreshed and focused on your duties. Oh my god. That is the best. <laughs> oh man. Okay. Coffee stain, you guys outdid yourself, man. I'm telling you. Bravo. Okay, let's top off our biomass machines here. No pressure. No pressure at all. Uh, let's pull that out of there, put that in there. Uh, yeah, we definitely need to get some some more storage going here. Man, 157 rotors, though. <laughs> that That's huge for early game, you know? That is huge. Okay, we'll just keep a full stack of concrete on us. For the moment. All right, what are we doing? Uh, we just we just got logistics. Okay, so let's put that to work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna take and uh, go into logistics, and I'm gonna put the splitter on hotkey eight and the merger on nine, just because that's what I'm used to, and the lift will go on six. Good. Uh, wait, what the hell just happened? Mergers on nine and splitters on eight. Weird. Okay. All right. Now we're just going to pop this splitter right here and run that into there because remember, this is sending 60 ore per minute, but these guys are only consuming 30 per minute. So now we no longer have to do the robbing Peter to pay Paul thing. The beauty of splitters. We'll do the same thing over here. Beautiful. Uh, what am I doing? I'm coming over here. Grab some more wire. Okay. All right. So, um, I think it would be worth our while to go after field research next so that we can get the MAM so that we have that possibility uh, plus, we'll get a, the personal storage box, which we need, the map, and more inventory slots. Uh, but we'll have that possibility of getting the cast screws recipe, which I would really like to get. So, this is the next thing, and we're going to need to make a, a bunch of screws. So, I'll make those by hand. Um, oh, I guess we have to wait for the, the pod to return. Well, it's going to be here in 30 seconds. Um, so, yeah, I'm going to get busy making all of the screws we need by hand. We got the screws, we got the plates, and we just need a little bit more copper wire.
milestone reached, supply the molecular analysis machine, referred to as the MAM, with local resources to research and develop new technologies. Potential technologies include exploration tools, weapons, and factory buildings. These are essential for maximizing your pioneer efficiency and alignment with Fixit's core pillars, construct, automate, explore, and exploit. To advance Fixit's mission, all notable phenomena, resources, technology, or other influence should be investigated regardless of any perceived danger, as stated in the pioneer contract. <laughs> perceived danger. <laughs> okay. Uh, all right, let's see if we have room to build the BAM right here. <clears throat> uh, turn around this way. Oh, we're just short a little bit of copper wire. Let's go grab it. All right, MAM time. Before we start the hard drive... Oh, actually, you know what? I think they changed it to where we could... Oh, this looks different. I think they change it to where we can do a hard drive and also research at the same time. Let's see if that is indeed the case. So let's grab the drive. Yeah, it looks like we can. Okay, cool. This will also free us up a little bit of space. So we want to grab... Let's see, we want this, this... That, that, that... That, 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 all of that stuff so we can research. So let's do all the megafauna. Other, oh, we can't. Ah, bummer. Okay. I, I thought we, uh, I thought we could research as well as do hard drives, but apparently not. Fair enough. All right, well, um, the next thing we're going to work towards then is base building. Now, pods are going to be here in 23 seconds. And this, of course, will allow us to do foundations and walls and that sort of thing. Um, let's grab this concrete because we're going to need it for the research. We'll grab whatever plates and rods we currently have. I sure am having fun, man. Hope you guys are enjoying watching this so far. And if you Raider re-entry mouse on exchange conclude. Okay, yeah. Um if you guys are playing this too, uh, let me know how your game's going. I always like to hear from you guys on how how your playthroughs are are going. Concrete, plates, and rods. That was easy. Milestone reached. Several new structures are now available for improving factory organization. Foundations provide a building grid, which makes it easier to manage placement of any structure. In the event that you are experiencing amnesia for all events prior to planetfall, be reassured that memories of beloved humans and or animals would have only been distractions from your important mission. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> oh, man. Ada is just full of snark, man. Full of snark. Okay, so we have still have about seven and a half minutes on that. Oh, hilarious. All right. Tell you what. Um, let's make another one of these. Just so we have some extra storage here. And I'm going to put uh, some of this more advanced stuff in there for now because we don't need that quite yet. I'll hang on to this other stuff just because as soon as that hard drive's done, then we can research it. Beautiful. Okay, so while we're waiting for all of that, let's go on another little short expedition. Um, specifically what I would like to get is, what is this is iron, right? Yeah, nah, I don't, I don't care about that right now. Uh, what I'd like to get is more quartz so that we can get going on the, uh, we'll grab this sulfur, get going on the blade runners because that's going to help us get around better. And I happen to know that there are some quartz nodes over yonder here. 
Uh, we will be tapping into this iron too. I think this is Caterium. Yeah, let's grab this. There's a big, bad plasma spitter guy guarding. Yeah, he's right there guarding that yellow slug. So we'll, we'll wait and get after that later. I do want this quartz, though, and he's right there. Well, you know what? We don't need that quartz at the moment because we can get the other stuff. Uh, What the hell's in here? A yellow slug and spiders. How many spiders? That many. Okay. If I remember right, there used to only be a small baby plasma spitter in here guarding that. So they changed that too. Our first yellow slug, ladies and gentlemen. Yay, us. Anything else in here? I don't think so. All right, cool. We'll need the first yellow slug, of course, for research purposes. So around this corner, there are two normal quartz nodes, which we will definitely be tapping into later. But we're going to uh, just grab some of it by hand for now. Oh, you know what I should have done? Should have brought that. Uh, no, we don't need the bauxite. Should have brought one of my uh, that portable miner I had. And we could have just set it down here, but it's all right. Okay, so we still have the water oasis. That's been there all along. But there is a big hog over here that we have to be careful of. But if you can see over yonder, there's another nut quartz node besides this one. <clears throat> okay, so I'm just going to grab as much of this as I can until he turns around and aggro's on us, and then we're going to run away from him. That may be enough quartz uh, for us to do our research and make our Blade Runners. We'll see. If it isn't, then we'll get more. We know where it is. In fact, should we try and ninja this quartz? We ha we're pretty much at full health. Why don't we see if we can grab it just so we have a little extra. Good enough. All right, guys. Let's take a look and see. Hard drive scan has been completed. The scan hard drive has been added to your hard drive library. <laughs> there it is. Cash hard drive analysis screw. completed. Alternative recipe selection available in the MAM. Okay, so this has changed. Um... So it looks like we have, the way that this works is it puts two options in a hard drive library and we don't have to come and, you know, we can select them whenever we want to. We can come back to it later if we want to go like research it or whatever. And it gives us two options. And if we don't like either one of these options, we can uh, rescan it one additional time and then whatever it comes up with, we're, we're stuck with, uh, which was different than um, early access, because in early access, we, if we didn't like it, we could just re-roll it as many times as we wanted to. But this is exactly what I was hoping for, was the cast screw recipe. Um, so we're going to take that, because then we don't need to make rods to make screws. We can just make screws straight up. Uh, this is actually also a pretty good recipe for early game, too, the iron wire one. But um, we have plenty of copper, so we don't really need that one. This one is the one I was hoping for. So yay us. Hot damn. Okay, so now let's do some research here. So we're going to research all the alien parts. Uh, if they haven't changed things, this will lead eventually to the 
The um, remains researched belong to Hatcher, that's what that thing's called. the fluffy-tailed hog. It has many characteristics that would likely classify it among the Suidi family were it native to Earth. Hog remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. The fluffy-tailed hog, nice. All right, so this thing's called the Hatcher, and we'll, we'll go kill that one that's over by... Um, uh, by the iron um, deposit so we can research it and we want to do that because once we re research these things then we can turn them into protein and the protein we can then turn into the remains DNA. researched belong to an organism with eight jointed legs similar to the legs of arachnids but with non-standard distribution and function because its attacks focus on stabbing prey with the ends of their legs, which resemble insectoid stingers, they have been dubbed stingers. Stinger remains can now be made into alien protein, and additional research may reveal options for improving pioneer safety during exploration. The remains researched belong to an organism that tends to nest near objects emitting specific types of resonance. Spitters are called as such due to their ability to create and spit plasma across long distances. Spitter remains can now be made into alien protein. Okay, cool. Um, I, I'm not used to her explaining all this stuff, <laughs> so that's awesome. Okay, so yeah, we need to find Hatcher Research. Um, so let's grab some biomass and then we can research the, D, uh, the DNA. Uh, missing materials. Oh. Wait. Hold on. What's that say again? What are we missing? Oh, we need to make the protein first. Right. Right, right, right. Okay. So we'll turn all this into protein. We also use these proteins for uh, making our uh, medical inhalers later on, too. So they're really useful for that as well. Research completed. Alien protein can now be turned into biomass or alien DNA capsules. In addition to being used for research, the invaluable alien life form data in these capsules can be traded for fix it coupons at the awesome sink. Damn straight. We guarantee the best capsule to coupon exchange rate anywhere on this planet. <laughs> okay. Whoops. All right, let's see here. Um we want to get to the the rebar gun next so this is going to require five dna we're not going to be able to make the rebar go well actually you know what maybe we will be able to because we found all that those rotors and stuff let's just see what happens uh, so we need to make five dna capsules let's do that Research to develop the rebar gun is now available. When completed, you will be in possession of a tool effective against any local obstacles actively objecting to the fix-it mission. <laughs> actively objecting. <laughs> right, okay. Um, we don't have 500 screws yet, but we'll be able to get to the, get that pretty quickly. Okay, cool. Um, let's go ahead and... Oh, this is new. Yeah, we didn't have the a alien technology tree um we don't have sand but we do have a mercer sphere and a summer's loop let's grab both of those There's our ender Mercer chest. Sphere analysis completed. Established local planetary signature of massage 2, A, B, B, in the local Mercer Sphere signals, allowing them to be tracked by the object scanner. Mercer Spheres can also transmit data between specific... Witness our scripture. Witness our windows. Have you come to defile our shrine? Sing the song. Arguing the existence of intelligent alien life. While Fixit has figured out the method, all of the original data is still untranslatable. 
squared, man. Okay, so this will require a SAM fluctuator, which obviously is going to be a little while before we can do that. Um, we haven't come across any SAM ore yet, but we do have the summer slope. Let's see what it says about that. Summer sloop analysis completed. Summer sloops are somewhere between battery and conduit, harvesting energy from pockets of space with complete disregard for the rules of the space-time continuum and distributing it into its connected ecosystem. This energy Let the energies harvest until the waves reach our shores. Consume. Similarities to the hypothetical force of dark energy to potentially be one and the same. It can now be tracked by the object scanner. Okay. Interesting. These uh, definitely will be coming later. Power augmentator. That's cool. Okay, let's move on to Caterium next. We want these for smart splitters, among other things. The metal has been named Caterium after Fixit's greatest CEO, Katerina Parks. It has been added as a viable alternative to gold in industrial applications, specifically in advanced electronics due to its superconductivity, malleability, and corrosion resistance. So it's basically gold. <laughs> okay, let's research the ingots. Research completed. Caterium ingot recipe unlocked. New Caterium research available. All right. And then we'll need uh, ingots to to do the next one. So we'll come back to that. Let's do our nutrients. This fruit, dubbed the barrel nut after its distinctive color, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. Okay, let's do the pale berry. This fruit, dubbed the pale berry due to its tendency to stay light in color even when ripe, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. And the bacon mushrooms. This mushroom, dubbed bacon agaric due to its uncanny resemblance to raw bacon, is compatible with the human digestive system and has been added to the object scanner. Further research is available. All right, very good. Power slugs next. This semi-slug, now dubbed power slug, is early in its life cycle and has retained only part of its potential energy storage capacity, giving it its blue color. Hmm. Power slugs are capable of extracting latent energy from their surroundings, including through a form of photosynthesis, and preserve it in their porous semi-crystalline shell over their lifetime. Interesting. This explains why they rarely move after having found a suitable location. All right, nice. Um. We don't need to research the yellow one yet, but what we do want to do is we want to research uh, overclock. And I think we can actually do that right now. So let's do that because we will be uh, making use of overclocking. So we'll turn all these blue slugs into shards. And let's research this. Overclocking development completed. Power shards can now be inserted into all buildings to increase input and output speed. Underclocking is also possible. Note, power consumption of overclocked buildings increases exponentially. Beautiful. Okay, cool. Um, that's all we need to do for that. Uh, slug scanning now. We don't need to worry about that. Okay, let's... Uh, let's do sulfur and then we'll come back to quartz. This unknown chemical element, 
was in reality an unusual mixture of solid sulfide and sulfate materials from which sulfur can be extracted. Sulfur's primary use lies in fertilizers, which we have no use for. Instead, this element enables access to more volatile obstacle clearing and pioneer defending tools. Explosives, baby. Okay, cool. Uh, we don't have enough sulfur to do the next one, so we'll come back to that later. Now let's do quartz. The crystalline mineral was a previously unknown variation of quartz, with uniquely large and flawless crystals, normally only found in synthetic quartz. The industrial application of this mineral will follow that of its synthetic counterpart, specifically in communication and exploration technologies. Okay. Let's uh, research the silica, and I, we ran out of fuel in our machine, so we'll fix that later. Research completed. Silica recipe unlocked. New quartz research available. Okay, this is what we want. So we need we need enough quartz to make 50 silica. And did we already get at least 10 frames? Uh, I would have put those out here, right? Oh, we did. Beautiful. Okay. Do we have... Here, let's get our power back online first. I haven't been checking it because we've been busy exploring and researching stuff. Protein in there, the power shards, the sulfur, the caterium, um, the bacon mushroom, and the yellow slug, and the leaves. All right, how much sulfur can I make? Or silica? Oh, we can do it. All right, nice. We're going to get our blade runners, ladies and gentlemen. Hot damn. Okay, 50 silica. Let's grab 10 of these. What? How come you're not? What the hell? How come it's not let me go to to ten? Can I just type ten in? That's weird. Huh? Okay. I don't know. I never noticed that as an issue before. Let's research Blade Runners. Blade Runners unlocked. Equipped to run faster, jump with greater force, and decrease fall damage that might otherwise have lowered your value to fix it. <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, geez. Okay. So, to make Blade Runners, what do we need? 20 more silica, 3 more frames, and 3 rotors. I think we have all of that, right? Yep, we sure do. Grab the rotors, grab the frames. Uh, can we make 20 more silica? Yes, we can. There we go. These are going to make uh, moving around a lot better. Here we go. Look at that. Ah, love it. Love it, love it, love it. Okay, cool. We're making progress. We are making progress. Okay, let's put that back in there. Uh, we're done with silica for now. Uh, we can just put it in there, I suppose. We'll put the wood in there. And, yeah, I think we're good. So, let's see. What's the next step? Uh, we need to... get tier two going so we're done with tier one okay probably jump pads logistics let's do obstacle clearing next because then we can get the chainsaw and start making solid biofuel but what we want to do first is
We want to make our cast screws. So, let's see. What do you require? You're taking in 15 ingots per minute. You're outputting 30 per minute. You're taking in 30 per minute. So we could split this. Let's grab a couple reinforced plates. And we're going to put you right here. We're going to do cast screws. You need 12 and a half per minute, which is good. I'd rather have it need a little less than a little more. And then let's get some power going. There we go. We got our screws going. Excellent. You know, if we wanted to, just for the hell of it, let's grab uh, one of these. And we'll just overclock this so that it use, uses the full 15. Uh, okay, so we need to get this up to 15. So if we go 60, what does that do? Okay, why isn't that 60 enter? There we go. I, I guess I needed to press enter. There. Now it's now it's uh, using all of the ingots and will give us a few more screws than we otherwise would have. It's a beautiful thing. Yes, indeed it is. Okay, so we've made some amazing progress, guys, in this episode. <coughs> but I think, excuse me, I think it's time for us to wrap things up. So what I'm going to do is let this... Uh, build up to 500 screws and then when we start the next episode we will uh, get obstacle clearing uh, which will give us the chainsaw one of the cool things about the chainsaw in 1.0 is we can set it to single mode which means it'll only cut down whatever we're aiming at instead of the area of effect um, so that's going to be super handy that's something that um, you know I, I think a lot of people have wanted for a long time and uh, so we'll get started with that and then just keep advancing in our milestones. So thanks, everybody, for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode. And if you did, please hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, leave a comment, share the video, and we'll catch you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.